We're going to shift gears now to tell you about the world's largest and most powerful rocket, which exploded yesterday just a few minutes into its maiden voyage. NASA, of course, is counting on that rocket made by SpaceX to carry astronauts to the moon's surface and potentially, eventually, Mars. Fortunately, no one was on board. It was a test flight, and the FAA is now investigating. As Mark Strassman shows us, SpaceX is still considering this test flight a success. Starship, the world's most powerful rocket, blasted off from South Texas for what was supposed to be a 90-minute flight around the globe. We're flying at twice the thrust of the Saturn V heading to space. But by 90 seconds into flight, five of its 33 engines had quit. Then, 24 miles over the Gulf of Mexico, the rocket began tumbling out of the sky. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is, uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. With a rocket veering off course, it activated its own self-destruct system. Total flight time, four minutes. From Starship Mission Control, SpaceX founder Elon Musk tweeted congratulations to his team. Learned a lot for next test launch in a few months. This was a very classic successful failure. This is the SpaceX way. The Former NASA astronaut Garrett Reisman, now a SpaceX consultant. Nobody got hurt today. The rocket went kablooey. That's the technical term, by the way, is kablooey. But there are many more waiting in the wings. What did they accomplish today? So today we found out what the weakest links are in the design. And they're going to fly again, hopefully within just a month or two. And then we'll find the next weakest link until we find all of them. 400 feet tall, Starship towers over every other rocket ever built. Its biggest customer, NASA, is paying SpaceX billions to have Starship land astronauts back on the moon for the Artemis program. Uh, it's only the beginning. It's a development program. But uh, they are meeting their milestones. How closely are you watching these flights? Well, NASA's all over them uh, when it comes to putting NASA astronauts on uh, these machines. But at this stage for SpaceX, failure is an option. For CBS Mornings, Mark Strassman, Atlanta. I'm going to remember that phrase, guys. Classic successful yeah, failure. I'm going to use that next time I burn dinner. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think I that's... I was thinking the same thing, Sony. Or next time there's a screw-up of any kind, I'm going to be using that. Lesson learned.